Hi, I'm Paul, and it's time for another tarot reading. Today's question is, how do I develop skills to make money? What a good question these days of lockdown. So these are the top four cards. And yes, they're all reversed. Is that going to be a bad thing? Well, probably not, actually, as we'll see in the reading. So there we have the Universe card, the Princess of Swords reversed, the Knight of Discs reversed, and then the Princess of Wands also reversed. It's a strange collection of cards, isn't it? How would these show the skills to, to develop making money? Well, let's just go through the cards anyway. We have the Princess of Wands on top. She's next to the Queen of Wands. And then the Three of Wands Virtue, which is all about starting a business very often. And then the Aeon card, which is representing timing. Good cards for making things happen, all fiery. Then the thinking gets involved, eight of swords interference blocking things, and the knight of cups. Maybe it's a man who's been dissing your ideas. Eight of dis prudence is a card of developing your skills. Four of wands completion. So we're going back again. So when you do action, things go work better for you. Then we have the ten of wands oppression. Maybe another guy giving you trouble, or earache, or something like that. The Prince of Wands. We have several court cards here. The Prince of Swords as well. And the Prince of Cups. Three princes all together, causing trouble by the sound of it. And then there's a Four of Discs. Power. So this is your chance to get control back. Ten of Swords. Don't be frightened. Things will work out for you. The last card is about creativity and power as well. And then we have the Three of Cups, a card that shows that the things you want to happen do happen. But there's this also fear that it'll go wrong for you as well. Then there's the Fortune card, which is a good luck card for being successful. The Ace of Cups is a gift of happiness. So there's inspiration involved in the Knight of Discs. And maybe... This man is to do with the Hierophant, which is all to do with Taurus. Well, we've just come out of Taurus, so maybe something happened recently that will give you a clue. So now let's do the counting from the Princess of Swords. And for this we go on to the Eight of Discs, Prudence, a kind of card of building things up slowly and steadily. Ten of Swords, well that shows you just panicking a little bit, thinking what happened. Then it bounces all the way back to the Queen of Wands. And then the Eight of Swords. So you've noticed thinking doesn't come out too well in this. You've actually got to do things to make things happen. Then there's the Prince of Cups. And he counts on to the last card. Again, this kind of idea of creativity and energy. And it goes back to the Eight of Swords interference. Is when you think, it's a bit like riding a bike. If you think about it, you tend to fall off. Counting the opposite direction. We have the Princess of Wands again, who counts on to the Three of Cups Abundance. This is more of an emotional roller coaster we have here. It goes on to the Ten of Swords. That keeps on cropping up, doesn't it? So there's something that you need to change. And the Eight of Swords again. We've had that one before. So it's some kind of mental block that's making things difficult for you. The Ace of Cups we also saw as well. Then on to the last card again. So it's all about creativity and energy. The time is always right. Don't think it's different. Back onto the Queen of Wands. We've had her before in the opposite direction. She counts onto the Knight of Discs. Maybe this is the guy that's going to make a difference for you. And then there's a hangman. What are you, gonna, what are you worrying about losing? And that goes on to the last card. Now, we have the power cards as well. These are the cards that didn't show up, but have power behind the throne, if you like. And the first one is the Hierophant. He's, he's represents now, and the Fortune card is good luck. And we have the Knight of Cups as well. So these three cards show a man who has creative energy and power to transform your life. So you just start doing the right thing, and things will go right. Hi, I'm Paul. I hope you've liked this reading. If you do, please click on like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next reading.